Hi, my name is Michael, and I'm here to show you how to use my app icon template. What you'll need is a version of Photoshop, CS3 or above, and the template files that you just downloaded from appiconTemplate.com. Inside the zip file, you'll find three files, a readme file, the actions file, and the actual app icon template PSD file. I'll be demonstrating how to use this template using the one I have made for iOS 7, but the concept is the same for my other templates. First of all, let's go right ahead and open Photoshop. Then we'll import the actions that you just downloaded. Double clicking the actions file will add it to your actions pane. You'll find the actions pane under Windows and Actions or by hitting option 9 on a Mac. As you can see, we've now got a little folder in here named App Icon Template. We'll return to that soon. Let's go ahead and open up the actual template file. Now the idea here is to edit only the largest size and have all the other sizes rendered automatically. This allows for a much quicker workflow when trying out concepts for app icons. You'll easily be able to judge if a given concept scales well. You'll know that there's a couple of folders out here in the layers pane, but the only thing you actually need to concern yourself with is this layer here called Edit Me and Save. Right click that layer and hit Edit Contents. This opens up the icon PSB file, which is a nested smart object. The canvas here is 1024 times 1024 and represents the largest size in this particular template. This is where you'll do your work. Let's just briefly look at some of the things that come bundled with this template. Out here in the layers pane, you'll find a couple of different folders. First of all, you'll see a folder named Guides. In here, you'll find the grid, the inner mask, and the outer mask, which kind of gives you an estimation of the rounding that Apple will do. Remember to hide this one when you're done. Then we got some colors from the iOS palette, just to sort of get you in the right mood. And finally, we have some textures and effects that I've added in. You can build off these or change them or do whatever you like. Now let's go ahead and create our icon. Seeing as this is not a lesson in how to create cool icons, but just a lesson in how to use the template, we're not going to get too ambitious here. Let's just do something very simple. There. A nice star. Now you can paste your existing artwork in here, or you can create something entirely new and wonderful. But once you're done, you hit save. When it's done saving, you can close up the icon PSB file. What you'll see now is that the main template file has been populated with all the various sizes. That's pretty cool. You even have some neat preview stuff going on down here where you get to see your app icon in the native environment. Now it's time to export your icon. So let's go back to that actions pane. You'll see two different sets of actions, a squared and a rounded. Remember that Apple doesn't allow alpha transparency, so when you deliver an app icon, you'll want to spit out the square versions. Let's just go ahead and play the action. It'll slice it up, you'll hit save, it'll prompt you for a location, just save it. That should spit out a folder called App Icon Squared. In the folder, you'll find all the correctly named and sized files. Wonderful. Now, the rounded icons are mostly for other design uses. It'll slice it up, look at that lovely curve, hit save, and it'll spit out a folder called App Icon Rounded. That's neat. Great. And that's it. I hope this template helps you create awesome icons, so we can make the surfaces around us a prettier place. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at Flarope. F-L-A-R-U-P. And if you're visiting from somewhere else, you can get these templates from appicontemplate.com. Thanks for watching.